Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Hallelujah. And with that being said, I wanted to share with you guys my offerings of praise and thanksgiving journey thus far and to Father that I'm doing for seven days a week, seven times a day. I started a month ago and will continue into October in preparation and celebration uh, of the feasts that are coming in October. And for me, this is the second time I am doing this, but the process of it is is like being in the classroom because it's very spiritually educational uh, that gets that gets intertwined in the method of these offerings where you will learn a lot about yourself and father at the same time. I love the fact that for me, seven times a day, basically throughout all day, every day, I am glorifying and talking slash praying to father more than I'm talking to anybody else throughout the day. Because when I'm offering up praise and thanksgiving, I also pray to Father in between those times too. So more than usual on a consistent basis, throughout the day I'm talking to him, I'm focusing in on him <clears throat> pretty much all day. Uh, in regards to each offering of praise and thanksgiving, I'm not following strict rules like I did the first time. Um, I, it's more about being and remaining disciplined onto the offerings I'm making unto Father. Uh and the first time I did it, I I, uh, I think I had like a rule to pray. Ten minutes was the minimum to pray for. But I decided to just go around to not add time into it and just speak from whatever flows. And sometimes my offerings are short. Sometimes some of some of them are longer than others. But it, it is all spoken authentically of what is in my heart to convey in the moment of each one, making it not structured to a time consumption. Uh, that I must meet or adhere to. It, it matters the praise of my heart when I pour out uh, what's in my heart of praise and thanksgiving unto Father than the deadline of timing. Because when you're in the spirit, you don't want to be uh, on a on a time crunch in the spirit. That's, that's flesh uh, not allowing the Holy Spirit to flow freely as long as you know it wants to. And there are pastors within churches that will actually tell their congregation before the sermon starts, how short they're going to keep their sermon so everyone can basically hurry and get back out in the world. And, you know, I don't like that. Who are we to put a time on the move and process of the Holy Spirit working? So for me, in prayer offerings, uh, this go around, it's not about keeping time like that. And it allows me to freely concentrate on just praying from my heart at however long it takes by how I am moved in the moment in the spirit when it is time to make an offering. And I learned from the first time also to not get into a habit of strict routine to the T where it, where it will become ritual and mundane. You know, I have set alarms uh, on my phone to remind me of a praise offering uh, that's coming up uh, because I don't have the best memory. But I'm, I'm now at the point where I don't really need it. All glory to God, uh, though I still have it. It comes very natural and out to the sense and feel and know on my own the time of, you know, lifting up an offering of praise. Even when I pray, it feels like there's a spiritual knowing also of the number of each prayer in my spirit when I start praying that 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 lets me know the number I am I'm on. That really helps me keep up with getting all seven uh, prayer offerings in. I'm not scrambling or struggling to remember how many prayers I have done because I don't often stay on exact schedule. So it can when you first start, especially uh, when you first start out, it can get confusing as to how many prayers have you done so far during the day. But now it's so spiritually uh, natural and, and ingrained, almost like second nature to know when to do it and the, and the number without going back or figuring anything out, that type of thing. Now, you will need to go by the T in the beginning of a schedule when you're first starting out until you get a spiritual rhythm down of it, which should be by day four or five or how long you plan to offer up a praise offering uh if doing it longer than by the second week you should you not you should you know not be able to you should not have to lean so much on your alarm so much and and just knowing your own when it is time for you to make up an offering for me after a while that that kind of just it, it, that took over naturally where you have a spiritual knowing sort of like developing a conditioning routine but it is it's a spiritual routine so after just a short while for me that takes over and it becomes natural because the pattern is now spiritually woven into you to do but this method really helps us in the spirit of thankfulness love and humility if you happen to be lacking in those areas and it helps it really really helps you to stay disciplined in your covenant slash prayer life with father as well 
especially if you are a weak, timid, or non-existent in prayer, uh, it really helps. And sometimes I have to pray through and in distraction than in going to get a loan to uplift an offering up. The first time I did these offerings, the plan and idea was to go get a loan, but I learned sometimes that you don't have that luxury or opportunity due to bad timing, or you may be with or you know with people and and I I used to just decide to wait for the right time, but I would forget and miss it, and it would throw off my timing for the remaining prayer offer offerings, and it can cause you to fall behind in a way it takes authenticity out because you're now playing catch up just to get all seven in. So my advice is to pray when it is time to pray. And if you can't write then, see if in 15 minutes, no more than that, if you can or will be able to pray, then do so in 15 minutes. If you're going to not be free or less distracted for a good length of time, stop and pray anyway. One thing about a praise offering is that it's not commanded to be secret unless you want it to be. So if you in the so if you in the midst of being out in public have to pray at this set time, then stop and pray and then explain yourself afterwards, which will make for some glorifying conversation that might inspire others. I literally had have to shut down like head down, eyes closed, praying while there praying while there's conversation or while I'm in the midst of a bunch of people going into that that realm that I couldn't necessarily, you know, excuse myself from but you know personally for me it's just better to look crazy to others and explain myself after prayer than to put it off later on and sometimes it goes like that now i'm glory to god back at the place that i noticed before when i first started doing these offerings where i'm starting to notice and feel that spiritual change in myself uh and and in that environment is 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 all around me and it's 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 so filled with joy and thankfulness, like it's spreading more in me and around me. There is more of a presence of the Holy Spirit over me and with me. And more so when I start to even read my Bible within it. The best thing about what I'm doing is spending so much time in communication unto Father and being moved by the Holy Spirit in it. Because we always want his presence or we should want his presence. We should desire his presence. Uh, and, but you you not only get the presence of, of the Holy Spirit, you're you're getting revelations and teachings uh and 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 these offerings allows you to have those experience experiences they open that door for that where you start to feel the presence of the holy spirit more enhanced and present because i'm indwelling more in the spirit of prayer and thankfulness but it it, it also as i said before it's like being in a class too uh i i can't really explain that um you just have to go through it to know what I mean, because these offerings also provide a Holy Spirit outpour into you as well as you're pouring into it with praise and you receive just spiritual revelation and education. You're going to learn things about yourself and father and discover things about yourself and father. It can produce uh, self-awareness uh, because you're, you're basically seven times a day uh constantly in the spirit and, and you know go read a bible in between that time or those times or go pray or lift up spiritual warfare and you're going to experience how enhanced than before uh it is and, and the newer things being revealed to you because of the constant state you're in glorifying father pretty much all day uh and i spread my pa prayers out during the day into the night where the first one can can begin after 12 midnight till 7 or 8 a.m that's the first praise offering and then about every one and a half uh, hour to, to two hours at most, I offer the next one up. And, and they take me till eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night, depending on my timing of when I started the last one prior to the next. But guys, these offerings, these prayers, they can become very powerful over time. They are, you know, many times each day in some of the prayers, not every one. But some of the prayers were, you know, something comes over me and moves my heart and, you know, you're at the throne in, in, in the spirit. You can feel strongly the presence of the Holy Spirit right with you all over your environment. And when you are creating constantly a spiritual environment dedicated to the honor and glory of God, you're in you're in that spirit world. And things, experiences happen in those moments where you know it, you feel it and you're so moved. And the exaltation of the offering becomes so much more inwardly powerful in a way. I can't really describe it. It's, 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 it's powerful and it's amazing. All glory to God. But it's, it's for the honor and glory of Father. So it's a win-win. But I want to inspire and encourage you guys, you brothers and sisters out there, to try it. Uh, and you, you will be changed when you do so. You will notice that change and feel that difference too. That's going to be so amazing. It's all about 
our Father and these offerings grant us the opportunity from the desire we should have to want to give glory to him. And we have to pray for that if that's not in us uh, because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Uh, but we need to we need to practice and discipline ourselves in the way of thankfulness and, and glorifying Father. We need to pray and ask Father to give us a desire to want to spend time with him and a desire to want to praise him. We need to pray that those things can become our interest. Moreover, other things we take more interest in over Father. So I'm grateful he has answered my prayer in this because it is it is now my desire to do so. Uh, uh, and I encourage you guys to put other things aside and, and just grab your attention more on him through these offerings. Uh, they're really, they're really a blessing. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's all about our father. He just, he deserves our praise. And the, the, uh, one of the most amazing things is that glorification. It said the, the, the Bible says the word will always be pretty much. And glorification also will always be, we're always going to be glorifying father, even outside of this vessel called the body into another body glorification is always going to be uh here and, and and it's going to be eternal forever hallelujah and when you really comprehend how truly beautiful and amazing and most deserving that is because one of the things i have learned uh is to be is 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 to be more humble and i'm learning that by comprehending how much our father deserves our, our praise and our offerings like every prayer offering is is not even close to enough there is there's not going to be a measure up a pinnacle uh to where i feel halfway even slightly to the point where i measure up and and, and praise unto father that's why it's, it's it's so beautiful to me to know that this is going to be an, an internal thing that i'm going to always be doing and i have no problem with that i i love that i, I praise god for that that is that we're always going to be constantly even outside of our bodies into the next glorified body praising him and honoring him because he is so deserving of that and if you're not a strong praying person or a, you're a timid praying person try what try what i'm telling you and lift up offerings of praise and thanksgiving unto the lord daily just start by consistently praying throughout the day and of course keep regular prayers in but see where the spirit leads and moves you in this process of praise offerings and until the next time guys I love you all in Yeshua, Hamashik's precious, most mighty, holy name. Shalom.